Hi everyone, uh, this is going to be my sh uh, show and tell number 7 on org transclusion. Transclusion is the ability to include content from one file to another by reference. And org transclusion is the package I have been developing and it uh, enables you to do transclusion in your org files. I've got uh, two uh, updates in this demonstration. Uh, first one is new syntax. Uh, those, of who, those of you who have been following my previous uh, videos, uh, there's, there's a new syntax to work with org, org transclusion and also uh, new features. Among uh, those new features, live sync edit mode is probably the biggest highlight, so I wanted to uh, briefly show it to you. Now let's dump, jump in. So um, here I have a um, org file and then let's see how transclusion or org transclusion transcludes um, other file by reference. So reference in our case is the link and here it's just a normal link. Uh, in this case, as you can see at the bottom in mini buffer, it's a link via org ID. So if I click on it, it's a normal org ID link. So it opens up a buffer on the right hand side. So what I want to do with the transclusion is to include this subtree uh, specified by the ID uh, in this subtree and a copy basically this onto the left hand side. To do that, I will have my point on the uh, link and then org transclusion make from file. That adds this keyword with a um, link and then this is still a link anyway uh, with the transclude T value and then as a second step I then invoke or call uh, add point org transclusion add point um, function and it will include this subtree onto the left hand side and the transclusion is indicated by this um, um, fringe bitmap as a sort of vertical bar so you can see this is a, a special kind of text different to the normal text and on the right hand side the source also has got its own uh, indication uh, it is being uh, copied by some, someone else right um, so that, this is how it works um, now so new syntax is this sort of two-step way so you can um, kind of use the link wherever it is so in the past the previous version uh, the link needed to be precisely in the beginning at the beginning of a line that restriction or the, the syntax is no longer the case you can include any link uh, by way of make from link and then this now is based on normal um, uh, transcoding key, uh, keyword syntax so even if you have sort of uh, you know um, indentation before it um, it doesn't matter um, the uh, transclusion works and then if I just delete or remove the transclusion it retains the previous indentation and then gets back to the indentation like this so uh, it's a it's a different way of uh, working with um, transclusion or keyword now also uh, if you do not like this sort of you know two-step way uh, I've uh, enabled a way to sort of pass universal arguments so if I do you know control U to try to pa pass universal argument and then call make from link uh, it will automatically um, do the second step for you and then uh, you don't have to do the second step manually or uh, similar to um, what uh, previously was able to do uh, you, you were able to do um, so this here uh, the, the source is um, a level one subheadline and what you have copied over is also level one headline but you can control that by way of um, level property so if I type in level and then specify a single digit like number four for instance this will tell August Transclusion to basically align the first um, headline the root of the headline to uh, level four and then this uh, subheadline level two on the source uh, is aligned accordingly so it's a you know, plus one right so this is how it works and also um, when you do make uh, from link you can pass digit um, argument so if I pass seven as digit if you can see it on at the bottom in the mini buffer I'm passing a CU or control U seven and then invoke uh, make from link 
then uh, the transcription automatically adds level seven. And then if I then add to uh, at, at the point, then you know uh, the level is aligned according to what you specified. So this is how it works. Um, very easy to work with, I believe. And I think it uh, sort of removes a lot of limitations and um, that uh, you might have experienced in the previous version. Right. So that's uh, kind of um, new syntax. And then you might be wondering, okay, so this is just a sort of glorified copy and paste to make it easy for you to, you know, just select the region and cut or, you know, put it in your kill bar, kill ring and then put yank to it. Yes, I mean, in a way, this is true. It's a glorified copy and paste, but it's more than that. And I'll show you in a minute. So this transcluded text is, I, like I said, it's a special uh, text region. And then firstly, it's uh, read only. So you can't really uh, edit it directly. And that's by design. But what it tries to do is to clear, clear the underlining file, clear of the uh, text content. So if I try to open uh, this demonstration file in external text editor, so I'm using a, a VS Code, I think. Uh, so this is the underlining file opened in a different uh, external text editor. And as you can see that uh, the file does not have this uh, transcluded text. So um, this is how it works. So, you know, the, the benefit of this is that uh, you have only one single source of truth and the rest or the transcluded clones or copies are just uh, clones, right? You don't, you don't uh, sort of have multiple copies proliferating in your file system. There's only one place you maintain this text source. That's, that's how it works. Now, um, like I said, uh, the transcluded text is read only, but it, it, it actually exists in this buffer. So you can copy and paste uh, this to, you know, wherever you want. And also um, you can export uh, this region as if it just a normal text. So um, that's kind of the difference too. So even if uh, the, the file system is clear of this uh, text, uh, you know, at the level of buffer, uh, the text actually exists as a normal text, just a read only. Yeah. So you can copy and paste and also export as normal. So that, that's kind of the, the, the way uh, transclusion, org transclusion works with the concept of transclusion. Now, a couple of new um, sort of features. So um, let me just transclude this here. Um, within that uh, read-only uh, text region, you can do uh, sort of a lot of different things. So I kind of take this as a contextual menu and it is based on a uh, special local map so you can define it in your way so these are the sort of standard ones uh, capital D capital P for demote and promote subtree uh, D to remove a point so that's what I have been doing so if I press uh, D here it will just uh, remove it All right uh, remove the transclusion and I'm gonna show you the live uh, sync, uh, E for edit, and then you can get into the edit mode if uh, this element allows you to do live sync. Uh, G for refresh and O for open source. So let me just close the other source buffer. So what uh, O can do is if I press O, uh, it will sort of open up a, a, a pop-up window on the right-hand side or wherever you specify, I guess, uh, in your configuration. And then um, you can actually see the, um, the, the source buffer where the, this transclusion comes from. Right, and uh, the refresh means that, you know, as you don't have a facility to kind of edit it, edit the uh, transclusion, if I edit on the right-hand side, so I'm just editing this, uh, this does not, reflect, get reflected to the um, transclusion. But if I press G, see this, uh, it, this gets sort of, you know, refreshed. So uh, see the refresh, you yeah, know, refresh, I think this is how you spell it. And then go back and then press G to refresh. So that's how um, this works. Sorry. Okay, so I'm just, uh, okay, maybe 
Right. Um, also, uh, let me then show you this one. Uh, live sync and uh, like I said uh, there's a bit of a limitation in what sort of region you, uh, element um, the org uh, transcollision live sync works so uh, unfortunately uh, there's a bit of a challenge in enabling it in the um, um, block areas except for quote uh, but I'm gonna just show it to you in the, this paragraph so there are other elements that you can um, use uh, paragraph tables lists uh, these all are fine to work with live sync so I'm going to just demonstrate it so here I've included um, so transcluded this paragraph from a different file uh, if I open it with O okay it doesn't give me the window so this is the um, paragraph source right and also what I wanted to kind of show you is the edit. So if I press E, this is now live sync edit mode. What it means is that now this region in blue is no longer read only, but I can uh, edit it. So if I start uh, typing, see uh, the right hand side, the source also has got a real time live sync and it works with undo so if I just do undo now um, sort of undo kind of you know as you can see the right hand side gets also reflected by the undo um, and this is a normal sort of text now so if I wanted to add a new probably this is probably not the best way to edit this but add a new uh, headline uh, see uh, the right hand side also gets reflected in this way a paragraph so and then uh, this um, uh, live sync region has got also local map uh, it's actually a sort of in it inherits the normal org mode map but uh, these are the sort of two uh, special um, commands and if I do control C control C it would commit this and then removes the um, sorry removes the live sync and then uh, goes back to the normal read only now this newly added uh, uh, headline is no longer part of this paragraph because paragraph ends in this um, dedicate target and now it's its own element that's why you know you know it's not reflected in this paragraph and that's the only reason but uh, this is just a normal a paragraph on the right hand side I can also remove it if I wanted to anyway so this this is how it works uh, at the moment and probably it's also interesting to show you how the table works table um, right ah by the way uh, another thing I probably should mention this is that uh, when you uh, toggle or uh, enable edit live sync edit mode what it does is that um, it will try to reconfigure your window so for instance um, I may be busy with you know editing a lot of different um, um, text by you know opening a lot of uh, windows like this I uh, don't know how you work but so in this case yeah, it's very busy but when I turn on live sync mode by pressing E it will reconfigure your windows uh, so the left hand side you will have your edit um, transclusion buffer and on the right hand side this is the source so it will try to kind of uh, let you uh, sync both files uh, in a visible way as well but and then uh, if you press uh, C and C right go back to the uh, original window configuration as it was uh, at least it tries to re retain the um, window configuration like this anyway so what I want to also do is to show you how table works so um, like I said uh, if I I'm not I'm not really good at uh, using table but as you can see I'm doing uh, alt le and left and right and then uh, sort of sorting uh, or swapping uh, columns right and then that gets reflected on the source side as well if I wanted to swap that changes too uh, or I can also add a new uh, rows I think I can also 
Ah, well, yeah. See this? Um, I just removed uh, the the column, and it's not good. But I'm gonna just uh, undo this and then go back to the original. Anyway, so this is how it works. Um, with a table, lists also works quite nicely. So if I have this sort of nested list, I can also work with a list item being added, uh, definition is being added, definition, or I can also do the second level yeah on the right hand side as you can see uh, I'm inserting and then if I do undo undo gets reflected as well on the right hand side so um, and then uh, C and C to finish hopefully it can finish yeah and then go back to the original state just before um, uh, live sync started right and if I press O, it tries to open the original source. Okay, so this one is not reflected, so I'm going to just... Um... Right, so, okay. Mm. There might be a little bit of a challenge here, or, or actually, this probably isn't an issue. Let me just uh, do this. Uh -huh. Interesting. Okay, so a little bit of a challenge here, yeah? But um, this is um, mostly working, as you can see, uh, including live sync. So uh, going back to... Um, the original agenda so here's the uh, new version number 0.1.1 um, I demonstrated how uh, the new syntax works and also wanted to highlight live sync edit mode um, let me know what you think of the new way of uh, org transclusion feedback welcome um, if there's a bug yes like I like I showed you <laughs> I probably need to fix that thing but um, as, as much as I can and then um, I guess I will talk to you next time thank you very much